no, something's horrible's happened to me. I woke up and I've turned into a frog. And I've also laid lots of frog spawn all around me. Lots of little tadpoles. <gasps> I don't know what I'm going to do. I can jump really high though, but I keep eating flies. Not very nice. This week we are learning all about frogs. Ribbit. Oh! Okay, so from last week when we learned about spring, one of the things I was most excited about spring was the start of frog spawn arriving in our ponds. Okay, and frog spawn is what we know is returns into tadpoles and then goes on to turn into frogs. And frogs are really, really cool. I love frogs. They're really, really interesting animals. There's so many different types of frogs around the world, which we'll be having a look at later on in the week. But today we're going to be looking at the frog we'll find in our ponds. Uh, it's called the UK common frog. Okay, it's a common frog because there's lots of them. And these frogs, this time of year, what they do is they get into the ponds, they've woken up after their winter sleep, they come into their ponds and they lay thousands and thousands of eggs. And their eggs are called frog spawn. They look like jelly, little black dots and they look like little eyeballs. Okay. And eventually, after a few weeks, they hatch into these. And these are the first tadpoles that come out. This is what they look like. You can see some of them have got these weird kind of feathery things around their necks. Okay, they're the start of their gills, which they used to breathe in the water. And after a couple of days, they get bigger and look like this. And you can see this one's developed a little eye there. It's got its tail. And what they do, they swim around the ponds eating um, pond vegetation, like uh, little pond plants uh, and pond weed. Um, eventually they start to change okay so they go from a tadpole and then they start to get little eyes on the top of their heads little lumps eyes start looking a bit froggy in the face and they get legs at the back and those legs eventually get bigger and the tadpole's body starts to look more like a frog and then they get arms and then their tail shrinks and they turn into little tiny froglets we call a little tiny frog a froglet and then all it's got to do is grow bigger it's a fully formed frog it's absolutely amazing how amazing is that something hatches into a tadpole and does all these changes into a frog and it's what's called the frog life cycle okay so an adult frog will go into the pond and lay some eggs those eggs hatch into tadpoles. The tadpoles grow, turn into bigger frogs that lay eggs, that turn into a tadpole, that grow into a frog that lay eggs, and it goes round and round and round and round. And that's what we call a life cycle, a frog life cycle. Okay. And what I want you to do today for me is to draw your own frog life cycle. Okay. And I want you to draw the different stages of the tadpoles from so when they hatch out to how they're getting their legs and their arms. And now they suddenly turn into an adult frog. And I've got a little video for you to watch about the frog life cycle as well. Enjoy this one. On Wednesday, we are going to start looking at the different types of frogs found around the world. There's so many crazy frogs. Enjoy this one. Stay safe and I'll see you Wednesday for another lesson. <laughs> Oh, my God.
And that's all, folks. 